Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix problems with Windows updates. Now I've got two methods you can try in order to try and fix Windows updates. The first method involves control panel. If you've got control panel on your desktop or taskbar, you can click it. If not, just right click on the start menu and choose control panel from the list of options. You can also search Windows for Control Panel. Alright, so once it's up, you want to type in where it says Search Control Panel on the top right hand corner, Troubleshooting. And you want to select where it says Just Troubleshooting. Then you want to go to where it says system and security and right under that it says fix problems with Windows update this is where you want to go just click on that go to advanced when a window pops up and click on run as administrator then you want to click on advanced and make sure there is a check mark next to where it says apply repairs automatically then click next Windows Update Troubleshooter says it couldn't identify the problem but in your case it might actually say that it fixed something so you just, just want to close the troubleshooter close control panel and you want to try and install Windows Updates Alright, if that did not fix your problem, there is another method you could try. You want to right click on the start menu, select command prompt admin, or you can search windows for command prompt, right click and select run as administrator. Alright, once you've got command prompt open, you will need to run two commands that stop Windows Update services. These two commands are in the description below. The first one is net net space stop stop space w u a u s e r v hit enter so it should either say the Windows update has not started yet or the Windows update service is stopping and then the second line should either say the Windows update service was stopped successfully or it was unable to stop successfully if it says unable to stop successfully that's the only time then you would need to either wait a few seconds and try again or if that doesn't work restart the computer and then try to run the command again after waiting a few seconds for everything to start up alright so the same goes for this next command and all other commands that you would need to type in in command prompt net space stop space and then bits b-i-t-s all right, well, once you've got that done, you want to type in exit and then hit enter. And this just closes down command prompt or you can just hit the X and then will close down the window for you. All right, so now the services are stopped and then you want to go to file explorer. You can either um, click on it where it's on the desktop or taskbar or you can search windows for file explorer then on the left hand side you want to go to this PC you want to click on your C drive or local disk whatever it says then you want to go to the Windows folder and scroll down to the folder that says software distribution and then you want to select all your files and remove them now 
I think most of the time it will not be able to remove all of your files. In that case, just restart the computer. You want to run those commands in command prompt and try again. However, if it is able to remove all of them, great. Close down File Explorer. Open up Command Prompt. So here I have it up. You want to go to... You want to type in the commands net start and then w u a u s e r v so it's the same command except it's start not stop same goes for the second command net start bits b i t s it says it's starting and it says it was started successfully All right, so that is how you can fix Windows Update problems. If this still doesn't help, please let me know and I can research the problem for you and let you know what you can do to fix your problem. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.